Okay, you, now you could think about the novel you're writing and say, now does my hero or heroine have an object, uh, have a quest, have uh, something that they are going after that they think will bring them ultimate satisfaction or, some, or, or truth or some such thing. Um, yeah, it's, it might be a good idea if, uh, if they did. We often say that uh, fiction, you have to have conflict. Well, that's not it. It's not just conflict. The character has to really, really want something. He may not discover that he wants it until uh, partway through your story, but he has to really want it, and it has to come clear to the reader how important it is to him to find it. One of the most important ideas in all of storytelling, of course, is that of the knight's quest. The knight going forth to find that fabulous object which will bring him ultimate satisfaction. Thank you, no one. Now you've got to listen to me. Do you have any idea what you'd have to look forward to if you stayed here? Nine chances out of ten we'd both wind up at a concentration camp, isn't that true, Louis? I'm afraid Major Strasser would insist. You're saying this only to make me go off. I'm saying it because it's true. Inside of us, we both know you belong with Victor. And what does Rick discover in Casablanca? Well, the object of that quest is Il Salund. Um, that's played by Ingrid Bergman. I mean, the fabulous object of a quest there. And uh, what does Rick discover out there on the tarmac with the plane warming up and he's about to take off with, uh, with Ilsa? That no that the problems of two little people don't amount to a hill of beans in a crazy world like this. And so he lets Ilsa go her husband, and he stays behind to fight the Nazis. Uh, so the object of his quest becomes not Ilsa, but to fight on the side of human. Okay, what is a quest narrative? Well, it goes back certainly to uh, at least to uh, ancient Greece and, and beyond. You have all of the stories of myth in which, for example, Jason is seeking after the fabulous object, the golden, golden fleece. It comes on up to us through the uh, stories of the Knights of the Round Table, the medieval roman, in which the knights are going forth and what they're usually seeking in one of those quest narratives is the Holy Grail. Um, now, the important thing, a uh, little trick, if you will, to the quest narrative is that the hero doesn't usually find the object of the quest. Okay, so when we are constructing our own stories, um, we, have, we create a hero and we, we create something for him to go after, something that is terrifically important, that will bring him ultimate satisfaction. But he can't find it. it that's, not the, that's not the way it works, at least not in the stories that come down to us and satisfy us um, as audiences, as readers, over long periods of time. I got you to look at the meat, but you got me to look at it. But uh, you tell about how it's going to be. With someday, we're going to have us a little house and a couple of acres. And the cow, and the pig, pig and chick, and chick. we're going to live off the fatted land, and, and have rabbits. And have rabbits. Do I tell what we got in the garden? Okay. And you tell about the rabbits in winter, and about Wait. the stove, and, and uh, uh, how thick the cream w was on the milk. Yeah. Like you why don't you do it yourself? You know all of it. Do it, no. Do it, no. It's not the same. That in when I tell it. No. It's not um, for example, in the King Arthur stories, what the knight usually discovers through asking questions about the nature of the grail that he's seeking is um, something about himself. Or in uh, the famous Gowan and the Green Knight, young Gowan goes forth to, to find the Green Knight. That's the object of his year and one day quest. And he does find the Green Knight and he does meet a temptress along the way. He does meet a magician. That's the thing is that in a quest all these things are thrown up against our hero. Uh, dragons, uh, monsters, minotaurs, uh, mobsters and gang, uh, gang members and uh, unloving people. All kinds of things do uh, our heroes confront. But they cannot find the object of the quest. Instead, 
they discover something about themselves. If we look at one great quest after another, we find that that's it. Something about their own nature. Uh, go all the way back to uh, one of the first, first great stories of all time, and that's Oedipus Rex uh, by Sophocles. The first detective story. Oedipus sets out to find who murdered his father, and he does. That's the object of his quest, and he does find the murderer of his father. He finds out that he's the murderer of his father, and he's married his own mother in the bargain. He's, uh, he's so stricken by accomplishing this quest that he blinds himself, in fact, and uh, leaves, the, leaves the city um, as, a, as a blind beggar. Okay, the object of the quest, then, is not what the hero winds up with. It's what we guide our narrative for. That's what we put objects in the way for. But, ultimately, our hero discovers something about himself, or the nature of God or the universe, or, or something like that. What we often call an, uh, we all often call an epiphany, a great realization, right? Okay, so, um, let's take a... It, 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 we'll just take sample ones, and it's, it's best if, if they're kind of silly or, or playful, because uh, we don't want to get too serious about, about this thing. It'll just stop up our creative juices, right? Okay, so, silly and play fast. An object that they are, that they are searching for. Uh, the Searchers reminds us of, of John Wayne and, and the Searchers, right? There's, there's a quest to recover those, uh, those, uh, those, lost, those lost girls. Okay, I give him an object that uh, he's uh, searching for, it be it the uh, the gold the gold of El Dorado, a cure for a cure for cancer, uh, the defeat of the Dark Knight, um, the uh, but it should be an object uh, or the the love of the love of the princess. Um, yeah, you don't want to use the Dark Knight because you, you need a dragon and, and an opposing knight to come after him. Okay, I have the object, uh, the object of the quest. Now, what is it that your hero discovers instead? Instead of attaining the, uh, the gold of El Dorado, your hero discovers what about himself? Okay, um, good, good, good. Sounds good, doesn't it? Um, now, try another one, different hero, different hero, different uh, occupation, different, uh, different quest, and a different discovery about himself. Now, we're not trying to say that we need to write to formulas here. What we're trying to do is to look down at the basic nature of the story, to try to keep us on track, because these basic stories uh, will speak and have spoken to some inner some inner need of the audience. Thank you.